Welcome back, I'm Francesca Page and here's your Newsmax Now update. By a vote of 227 to 195, Congress has just voted to move forward with John Boehner's lawsuit against President Obama. Republicans are saying Obama has repeatedly exceeded his powers through the use of executive orders. Meanwhile, the president addressed the GOP-led House during a speech on the economy in Kansas City, Missouri earlier today. They're mad because I'm doing my job. And, and, by, and by the way, um, I, I've, I've told them, I said, I, I, I'd be happy to do it with you. Come on and help out a little bit. Stop being mad all the time. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop, just, stop just hating all the time. In addition to a lawsuit, some are calling for Congress to impeach President Obama. House Speaker John Boehner says Congress has no intention of doing so, and some say those claims are just a Democratic tool used for fundraising. You mentioned the, uh, uh, the impeachment thing, then they jumped on board with the, with the impeachment thing, and you've seen all these email blasts. I forget the last count. There's, it's probably approaching 20 that we've seen since Thursday, mentioning impeachment, mentioning the lawsuit asking for money from Democrats, and they've done quite well. They've raised over $2 million in just a matter of days. Meanwhile, a jury has awarded former Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura $1.8 million in his lawsuit against the estate of American sniper author Chris Kyle. The federal jury in St. Paul found Tuesday that the 2012 best-selling book libeled Ventura in describing a bar fight in California in 2006. That's your Newsmax Now update. Now back to the Steve Molsberg Show. Thank <music> you.